Hi everybody, so what does the total revenue curve look like? Depends on the level of competition. In perfect competition, it will look different to what the curve looks like in imperfect competition. The key thing is to remember the AR and MR curves that we derived in my previous video on revenue. Watch that video if you're unsure about why the AR and MR curves look like this in both perfect and imperfect competition. Let's take perfect competition. We learned from my previous video that firms are price takers. They have no influence on the price whatsoever. So price in that example was equal to AR, which is equal to MR, which is the demand curve, right? So if our MR curve is constant at one value, it means that total revenue is going to be increasing at the same rate as more units are being sold, at exactly the same rate. If marginal revenue is constant, total revenue will be increasing at the same rate each time which means that total revenue is going to look like this, an upward sloping linear line at the same gradient. Remember, marginal revenue is the extra revenue generated when one more unit is sold. And if the extra revenue generated is the same every single time, then total revenue is going to be increasing at the same pace every single time one more unit is being sold. In imperfect competition, what does it look like? Well, remember our AR and MR curves from the last video. Average revenue is downward sloping. Why? Because firms are price makers, right? And they are governed by the demand curve in that sense. So the average revenue is the demand curve. It's downward sloping given the price making nature of these firms, like monopolists, for example. MR is twice as steep as AR and also downward sloping. That's based on the idea that for firms to sell extra units of quantity, they need to reduce the price, not just of the extra unit that they want to sell, but of all units that preceded that as well, which means marginal revenue will drop at a quicker rate. So downward sloping like that, what is total revenue, uh, total revenue going to look like for firms in imperfect competition, therefore? Well, if marginal revenue is decreasing and eventually becomes negative, up until marginal revenue is zero, there is always more total revenue being generated. So the total revenue curve will be increasing. But because MR is decreasing, the rate at which TR is increasing will be slower and slower and slower each time, up until MR is zero. Where MR is zero, there is no extra revenue to be generated at all by selling more units, which means total revenue will be hitting its peak. Thereafter, MR goes negative, which will pull down total revenue. So, the way to draw it, always draw these two curves first, then where MR is zero, take that point down, and make sure when you draw your TR, that the peak is at this quantity value. Something like this. So peak there, and then it starts to fall. Okay. So it's increasing total revenue, but at a slower rate as more units are being sold because marginal revenue is decreasing. Up until we get to MR is zero. Yeah, so we can say, look, that TR is maximized. where MR equals to zero. There is no more extra revenue to be had at all by selling more units. So where MR is zero, we hit the peak of the total revenue curve. Thereafter, marginal re revenue goes negative, which pulls down total revenue. So that explains the shape of this parabola. Right? You draw it like that for total revenue in imperfect competition, a linear upward sloping line for total revenue in perfect competition. That covers this. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I'll see you all in the next video.